Hello friends, in today's video lecture we will discuss about the concept of environment, scope and its importance. So first of all we should know the definition of the environment. The term environment has been derived from the French word environnia which means surrounds, surrounds or encircles. So here in this diagram you can see that this living organism is surrounded by environmental conditions. Now these environmental conditions are the combination of different factors. So later on we will discuss on next slide that what are these surrounding conditions. Here you can see that environment and living organisms both are in coexistence. Both are in coexistence means surrounding conditions affects living organisms and on the other hand living organisms alter the surrounding conditions and also the important part of this environment is it can be divided into four segments first is atmosphere that is air second is lithosphere that is soil and third is water hydrosphere all these three are in interaction. Air interacts with soil, water interacts with air, water interacts with soil, air interacts with soil and air also interacts with water. In the same way living organisms and human beings also interacts with all these components of the environment. So this is the concept of environment. Now what are the surrounding conditions? It can be divided or classified into four categories. First is physical conditions. It includes or the examples of physical conditions are light, noise, temperature, chemical conditions that may be the composition of air, gases present in the air, films, Third is the biological conditions or biological factors. It includes bacteria, other living organisms, fungi, animals, etc. All these conditions are applicable for all the living organisms. But in case of humans, fourth condition that is social condition. It is of significant importance. It includes culture society, man-to-man -man interaction. Now, environment can be broadly divided into four segments. First is the atmosphere. The layer of gases that surrounds earth means all the gases which surrounds the earth, just like the envelope. So we call this atmosphere, a sphere of the atoms. It allows us to breathe, protect us from harmful radiations, for example UV radiations. Se second segment of the environment is the hydrosphere. All the water present on water in any form that may be solid, liquid or gaseous form. Third component or third segment of the environment is the lithosphere. It constitutes the surface of the planet. Fourth component is the biosphere. Biosphere means or we can define this. It is the part of earth where life exists. All three components interact with each other. Now here the question is that where is, which is the part of earth where biosphere exists. Biosphere is the interaction or we can say that life exist on earth in all three components atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere so we can say that biosphere or life is present in all the components of the earth next is the definition of the environmental studies how we can define what does it means what is environmental studies it is the study of environment working of life supporting system on earth, effects of man made activities on nature and its solution. 
environmental studies is multidisciplinary in nature because in this there is the input of life sciences biology geology biotechnology microbiology physical sciences geography climatology atmospheric sciences input of engineering civil engineering mechanical engineering computer engineering and other advanced branches of the engineering it also includes the inputs of mathematics computers for modeling or for simulation it also include social sciences for demographic studies cultural studies and other social factor which affects humans it also include management studies it is associated to study in basic principles as ethics geography policy politics urban planning law economics philosophy sociology planning pollution control and natural resource management so that's why we call this multidisciplinary nature of environmental studies now the background of the subject in modern india our late prime minister mrs indira gandhi was played a major role in introducing the concept of environmental protection in the constitution of india as a fundamental duty under article 51 ag this is clearly mentioned that it is the duty of every citizen to protect and conserve our environment and natural resources justice kuldeep singh popularly known as green judge and sri mc mehta the green advocate of india has greatly contributed for the environmental education in 1991 the supreme court of india issued directives to make all the curricula in which environmental science should be included as per the directives of supreme court based on the judgment supreme court of india environmental studies is now being taught as a compulsory course to all the ug students in this regard ugc instructed all the affiliated universities and colleges of the india to introduce a 6 month module course in environmental studies at ug level now the scope of the environmental studies the scope of environmental studies is very wide in research teaching pollution control boards ngos government jobs and environmental monitoring laboratories it also deals with many important areas many key areas for the conservation of natural resources ecological aspects biodiversity conservation pollution control policy making for global environmental issues environmental management and planning and the main focus in today's world is on the development of green projects to ensure the objectives of sustainable development the discipline disciplines included in environmental studies are environmental sciences environmental management environmental economics and environmental engineering the various master courses offered in this field are msc in environmental sciences msc in environmental engineering msc or ma in environmental economics btech and mtech in environmental engineering generally master degree programs 
are of two years but if you want to opt BTEC program in environmental engineering it is of four years all these courses have some specific content for the protection, conservation and the solution of environmental problems. Now some of the Indian universities which offers a master program in environmental studies are Indian Institute of Technology that is IIT, IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur, IIT Guwahati, School of Environmental Sciences, JNU, Terry, the Energy and Research Institute, New Delhi, FRI, Forest Research Institute, Dehradun, Chaudhary Charan Singh University, Merit, Guru Jambeshwar, University of Science and Technology, Hisar, Guru Govind Singh, Indraprasth University, New Delhi. So, now the question is, what is the importance of this subject? Or course and need of public awareness about the environment. There is a Chinese proverb that if you plant, if you plant for a year, plant rice, if you plant for 10 years, plant trees, and if you plant for 100 years, educate people. Education plays an important role in the conservation and the protection of the environment. Environment belongs to all of us. We have a responsibility to contribute towards its conservation and protection. Environmental studies provides the knowledge about the quality of the environment, quality of air, quality of water, food, hygiene and sanitation. Importance of natural resources Importance of recycling and reuse of natural resources, management of natural resources, to promote environmental education and training, to make laws and regulations to protect environment from degradation, to know more about the sustainable way of living, to know the importance of biodiversity, and its conservation to educate and aware people about environmental problems and issues to use natural resources without harming the environment it doesn't means that we don't have to use natural resources we should use but the use should be in significant direction that ensures sustainable development. Sustainable development means the development which meets the requirements of present generation without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. Now the need of public awareness about the environment. Our environment is very important to us because where we live in with the coexistence of other species it is not the only duty of the government but also the people to play active role in environmental protection in modern world because of industrialization and increasing population the natural resources has been rapidly exploited and our environment is degrading day by day by anthropogenic activities. So we need to protect the environment. Since 1974, every year we celebrate World Environment Day on 5th June after the United Nations Conference on Human Environment held at Stockholm from 5 to 16th June 1972. Thank you.